Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Dell Vapor Vape Reviews. It's time to review the Geek Vape Z MTL tank. So the Geek Vape Z MTL tank. Now you might call it the Z, you might call it the Z depending on where you are in the world, but nevertheless it is around about 22 millimeters in diameter, comes in six different colors, has two milliliters of capacity, and it comes with the new A series coil. So you get a 0.8 ohm and a 1.2 ohm coil with this. I've got the 0.8 ohm coil in here at the moment, and you can have kind of like a restricted direct to lung vape all the way down to a mouth to lung vape which is kind of semi semi not heavily restricted but a little bit of a looser mouth to lung vape but yeah we're going to be going through those airflow options at the end of the review so yeah we've got some dimple berry ice in here with a 0.8 ohm core at 14 watts airflow is closed down to the lowest circle let's take it through two let's go And that is how it vapes. So what I'm going to do in a review today is take this down to the table, have a look around the tank, get it all set up before you go through the coils and all that jazz. Then we're going to bring it up top, take it for a two and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it. So without further ado, I'll grab the box which is over here and this is not the final retail box. And I will see you down at the table with the Geek Vape Z. MTL tank. So this is the sample packaging for the Geek Vape ZMTL tank. So it hasn't got much information on it. This will not be the same as what you get if you are buying this brand new from the shops. Just a few little specs on the back there. So let's get into the tank. So here is the Z. MTL tank and I've got mine in the beautiful matte black version here. Let's start from the top and work our way down. So you've got your drip tip at the top there. Very, very small and thin. It is indeed 510 sized and goes in there with some O-rings at the top. You've got your top fill at the top there. Just give it a simple twist with the knurling at the top and it reveals your filling ports down there. That is where you put your juice and that is where your, um, your vapor will come out of the chimney in the section there. Now this is top airflow, so there we go. You've got the airflow at the top there. Apologies about the, what's it called here? The focus, what you're doing, man. Here we go, let's get that in better focus. There we go, so you've got your top airflow here. And then if we twist that, you can go from fully closed to the three holes open there. And you've got one airflow hole there and one on the other side. Now around the top, you've got Geek Vape Z at the top, or Z, depending on where you are from in the world. You've got the Z or the Z here on the tank with a kind of like metal sleeve around the edge, and you can see your e-liquid window there, so you can see what your level is like. And that is repeated on both sides. At the base there, a little bit of knurling, completely fine. Down at the base, you've got your Geek Vape CE bin logos, your 510 positive pin, which is ever so slightly protruding, as well as your numbers and designed by Geek Vape made in China. Now to take the coil out and to detach this, you just simply spin that jobby at the base. And then that reveals the coil. And the coil pre-installed in there is a 12 to 16 watt 0.8 ohm coil. And we'll take that out and have a look. Now if I, I'm trying to look down there, it looks like it is mesh down the center there. Yes, it is mesh. Um, absolutely fine. And these are the Geek Vape A-Series coils made in China. And the additional coil that you get in this one is this one here. So this is a 6 to 12 watt 1.2 ohm coil and we will be testing them out. Now these coils only go in one way. As you can see, there are two little uh, legs down there. So you've got to get the D between those legs. Yes, you have indeed. Um, so if you twist that like that, there we go. It doesn't go between those legs. No, it doesn't. It just sits on top. So you've got to put the D on top of those legs rather than underneath, but that fits in there perfectly fine. And then you twist that back on like so. Very, very nice and small and slim line tank here today. So let's fill this bad boy up. We'll twist it like that and we'll grab some juice. So we've got Dimpleberry Ice by Zeus Juice, my favorite juice of all time. Yes, it has replaced the black ice. So we'll pump this full of junk. Now this is two mil in capacity, which is absolutely fine. And we've dumped our junk inside of that tank. We've pulled our nib out like so. We'll put the top back on. 
lovely jubbly and then just give that a bit of a twist there we go it is tight because you've got that o-ring up there to create the seal and then you can put it on a mod of your choice now i'm using the obelisk fc 120 that is completely out of focus and completely messy um, but we will put it on top of there it doesn't really suit this mod but this is the mod i got out for it so uh let's get that back into a bit of decent focus for you there we go, and that is the ZMTL tank by GeekVape on top of the Obelisk 120. If I can find a better mod for this to go on to for the up top portion, I will, but this is what I've got for the moment. So yeah, let's see you back up at FaceTime where we're gonna discuss our pros, cons of this little bit of kit. So we're back up top with the ZMTL tank by GeekVape on top of the whatever that was called. This was the Obelisk 120, I do believe. It might be the Obelisk 120, it might be the Obelisk 200. This one anyway, the dual battery version of the obelisk we've got the 0.8 ohm coil set at 14 watts but we're going to set it all the way up to 16 watts which is the highest rating that they state this cord can take we're going to start with the airflow fully open and work our way down let's take it for free toots let's go So those were three semi-restricted direct-to-lung toots going on there. It's a little bit too loose for mouth-to-lung vaping with the airflow fully open. But it is a very, very smooth draw. The airflow is nice and quiet. As well as that, the flavor is pretty damn good. I'm going to say this is around about 8 out of 10 from the offset. Before as well, I don't think I stayed. Dimpleberry Ice by Zeus Juice in there. So let's crank it down to the lowest airflow and take it for a toot like that. Let's try it with mouth-to-lung. Now I would say that is, I wouldn't say it's a true mouth to lung vape there. It's a little bit too loose for a true mouth to lung vape. So what I'm gonna do is try and close down that little hole around about half open, half closed. That is a little bit tighter, but still not a true mouth to lung vape for me personally. I would say this is more of a modern mouth to lung vape with a little bit of looseness in there. Um, for me, a true mouth to lung vape would be, you know, you're kind of getting a little bit of pressure. You see your cheeks um, sucking in a little bit. But the flavor is still good, 8 to 8.5 out of 10 on that mouth to lung setting. And 16 watts is where I've been vaping it at. Anything lower than that just seems a little bit too low for me personally. So that was the 0.8 ohm coil, and I'm rating that between 8 and 8.5 out of 10 on the flavor scale. So what I'm going to do is switch this out for the 1.2 ohm coil, and I'll be back with you in a sec. So we're back up top with the 1.2 ohm coil in the ZMTL tank. We've got the airflow fully open once again, Dimpleberry Ice by Zeus Juice in there. It is rated between 8 and 12 watts. We've got it at 12 watts, airflow fully open. Let's take it for a two, let's go. So that was three direct to lung toots on that and the flavor is pretty damn good. Once again, the airflow is pretty damn smooth and I'd say it's a little bit noisier than the 0.8 ohm coil, but nothing too bad to worry about. Um, yeah, what do I think of that flavor wise? I'm gonna say an 8.5 to nine out of 10. Very, very good flavor on this 0.8 ohm coil. But one thing I've been preferring on this is putting the wattage a little bit higher, but we're gonna try that in a sec. We're gonna go down and crank the airflow down to uh, the lowest setting like that on the final circle. Let's take that for a two, mouth to lung. A little bit tighter than the, one point, uh, the 0.8 ohm coil, sorry. But good flavor, good flavor still. 8.5 to 9 out of 10. But let's crank that down a little bit more. So we'll turn that half circle, uh, that circle into a half circle. Still not restricted enough for what I would call a true mouth to lung vape, but it is a nice kind of semi loose mouth to lung vape. Again, the flavor 8.5 to 9 out of 10. But where I've been preferring this is at 14 watts, which is going above the stated wattage on the coil and tooting it like that around about you know half a hole or one hole open it handles that 14 watts really damn well um you know that's where i've been vaping it at and the flavor is still good 8.5 to 9 out of 10 and you're not getting any drying out of the coal so i would personally recommend obviously do it at your own risk um up in the wattage a little bit i only do even numbers so 14 watts is where it's at for me and that is where i've been enjoying the blooming power but yeah the flavor on this 1.2 ohm coal very good, 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Not quite a 10 or a 9.5, you know, 8.5 to 9.
which is perfectly acceptable for a tank like this. So let's start going through our pros and cons. So if we start with cons, I think my one and only con for this tank would be the lack of restriction. Now this is advertised as a mouth to lung vaping tank. Now when I hear mouth to lung, I expect, you know, a little bit of cheeks going in when you're taking an inhale. You know that kind of mouth to lung, a true mouth to lung vape. This is more of a modern style of mouth to lung vaping where it's ever so slightly looser. Um, it's not my kind of style style of MTL but it is you know the modern style of MTL and that's really the only gripe I have about it so I don't know if there could be more airflow options for this or something else to make it a little bit tighter I'm not quite sure but I do enjoy a tighter draw off an advertised MTL tank but if we go into pros, I like the overall design of it. This matte slash satin black looks really damn cool and stealthy. You've got like a 22, I think it's 22.4 millimeters in diameter. I'm not sure whether that's the largest width or the width of the base, uh, but I think this is about 22 mil um, in total, but it's saying 22.4 on the statistics. Uh, the two mil capacity, absolutely fine for an MTL tank. I love this Z slash Z kind of metal casing around that. It protects it quite well. It gives you that stealthy look on top of that satin black. And it also looks good on side-by-side -side mods. I really do like it. I have tried it on the Aspire, whatever it was, the Aspire Mix, I believe it was. Um, I tried it on that and it looks pretty damn good on there. The drip tips are nicely shaped. I do like this thinner tip up top, but you can change that for any tip that you do like. The coil replacement is very, very easy as well. You just unscrew this bit. Right, you unscrew this bit, hold it upside down, make sure you haven't got too much juice in there, pull the coil out, pop the new coil in. There's no worrying about your know, massive worrying about orientation or anything like that. You know, it just goes together nice and smoothly. It looks good. Confirm the wattage or the resistance on there. I just think overall it's a nice looking little MTL tank. And if anyone wants to, you know, try out MTL vaping or an MTL style of vaping or restricted direct to lung vaping, then this may be a tank for them. The flavor on this is pretty damn good as well. We're getting eights, between eights and nines out of 10 off this tank, which is good in my opinion. Obviously it's not a 10 because the flavor is not mind blowing, um, but I like it. The airflow is smooth, not too noisy either. And overall, I just think this is a nice little MTL tank from Geek Vape. I am really blooming liking this. But if we go into price, now there aren't many prices on the Intertron. So I'm going to try Geek Vape's website. It's not on there. Unfortunately, it's not on there on the Geek Vape store. Um, so if I go on to the Google Trons, um, we are seeing this around about 20 to 25 quid on the Google Trons, which isn't too blooming bad for a tank that is producing flavor of this stature that looks this good and performs this blooming well. So overall, a nice little tank. I, I really wish the airflow was a little bit tighter for my personal preference, but it all depends on what your style of mouth to lung vaping is because this is a little bit on the looser side you've got kind of restricted direct to lung to a kind of semi unrestricted mouth to lung vape on here so do keep that in mind before purchasing so i'd like to thank the lovely people at geek vape for sending this through for the purpose of review i've been the devil vapor and you've been watching devil vapors vape reviews